Alright, hey, what's going on guys? It's Sean Lang and I'm rocking out in the Centurion 9 Delta. I think one of the uh, biggest weaknesses to this particular mech is that uh, you can go through ammo a little bit too quickly with that LB-10. Um, I think, uh, you know, fire discipline, trigger discipline is a big thing with this LB. Not saying you can't take those quick firing shots. Just saying is there are times when you should and when you should not. I think that's one of the toughest things go in for those criticals instead of, you know, undamaged armor, stuff like that. Let's see what my team's doing here. I'm pretty quick, but I don't want to be the uh, only one over here, which I am right now. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to go up there alone. I'll wait for the team. They're saying he'll rush, but uh, there's no one else over here. <laughs> The, uh, the protector in the back, all the way in the back, he's saying rush. All the way, you, you back there. Don't worry guys, I got your back. That's what he said. Uh, salting I-9. The one thing, if you can't push up this right side, is sometimes you can push up the left, you can use cover. There's a few hills. Big thing is, if they've got this top, you need to take it from him quickly, or push him back, or it's going to be a bad day for you. I got seismic right here. I don't need to be firing. See, this is where I need everyone to push up Hotel 10 as quick as possible. And uh, what we can do is we can overwhelm their position. Now normally I would say not to fire this close, but, wow, I'm getting, I'm taking some, oh wow, their entire team is right there. All right, we're trying to overrun this position. That's the goal at least. My fire starter just jumped down here. Go for this guy's legs. He's actually ignoring me. There goes my left arm and once hit by I'm assuming a stalker up there. There goes his leg. Oh, it's a dragon, how cute. It's a fang. We have another storm crow that's diving. Now I'm I'm firing it. Mm, he's dead. Go back up. I'm gonna be in a bad position if I can't get out of here. Maybe just maybe with my speed. Nope, he's closing in. This is gonna be rough. Gotta take off that arm. Woo! Oh, that's an Atlas. I'm, uh, I'm gonna GTFO. I'm gonna use my speed, try to get out of here. Try to get out of here. I really don't wanna lose my right arm. May not be doing a lot, but maybe it's making them turn. Actually, don't think he's doing too well. Actually, he's not. That may be a target of opportunity for me. Yeah, he's actually not doing too well. I may potentially be able to sneak up, go for a CT. Especially if I stick at this uh, 500 meter range. If he doesn't get any friendly support. He's 
five four. I gotta be gotta be careful here. I don't know where he's at. Someone just saw me. And of course, I just took a massive hit to my torso. And I think I'm going to be out here. I'm going to be converged. I'm trying to go for this Atlas here. I need to pull range. He is behind me. That CT is crit. But he is not doing too well. Let's see if I can sneak over here and go for that critical shot. Ooh, it's a trade. Got him. Oh, missiles. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I don't know how I'm alive. Uh, something's coming for me. It's a Timberwolf. I don't know his damage level. I'm GTFO and. My ammo is low. And there's another kill with an LV sneaking up, going for those criticals. Oh man, I did not think I was going to survive that one. Anyways, that goes to show you how important it is to wait for those critical hits. I mean, I got lucky against that dragon. I, I thought they were both going to rush me. Uh, that uh, Atlas being crit CT, that definitely helped. Pulling range. Almost lost my right arm there. You can see that extra hit points, the structure definitely helped. But... This is the Centurion Delta, the 9 Delta, the auto shotgun. I love it. It's very, very fun. Anyways, check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Until next time, Mech Warriors.